I'd like to discuss for a second this, uh, the New Kids on the Block Christians and their fairy tale book they call the Bible. Now let's assume that their stories are true, and I'm just assuming here. Um, before the New Kids on the Block Christians showed up, every culture on this planet depicted many gods, many gods. And they all came down from heaven and they had miraculous abilities. But there was many of them. Um, they had an overall leader, but there was many of the gods. And then all of a sudden, in this one particular area, and with this one particular race, the story changes up. Nope, there's only one God. And by the way, he's invisible. Can't see him. Well, throughout history, all over this planet, every culture that worshipped these multiple gods depicted them, showed their faces, bodies. It's in their buildings. It's in their carvings. It's in their what, what's left of stories that we could uncover of these multiple gods. But here's these new kids on the block, Christians. Um, let's look at the story in, in their fairy tale book, the Bible, and let's assume that this story is true. There was a battle that ensued in heaven, and God and his angels defeated the devil. And what did they do? They cast him down to earth. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Multiple gods in the heaven? One single god cast down onto the planet? I see a connection here, ladies and gentlemen. And it certainly would explain the new kids on the block Christians with their invisible god that you can't see. It would explain why they were so bloodthirsty and would kill anybody and everybody that questioned them. They put them in fear, held their soul up like a carrot as if they have control of it. Do as I say, or you will not go to heaven. I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm starting to see a connection here. Could these new kids on the block Christians actually be worshiping the person they call the devil in their own story? Now that would be ironic, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be ironic? I happen to be lucky enough to be born in a time on this planet where these new kids on the block can't kill me for speaking my mind as I am right here. So I'm very fortunate when it comes to that. But unfortunately, there's, in my opinion, are still tormenting people holding that carrot of our souls in front of us as if they have control of it. Um, I'd love to have some conversations about this. I'm starting to see a connection here if their stories are true. I think possibly they're worshiping the devil.